Hello everyone, uh, I want to show you a couple things today. Um, one of the things is the uh, layout tables and uh, the other thing is interactive buttons. So first off, let's uh, let's go over layout tables. Um, by default, when you open up Expression Web, I'm starting on a uh, brand new document here, so there's nothing in here. But if you click on Window, or I'm sorry, Task Panes, under Task Panes you have this right here, Layout Tables. By default, it is not checked, but we'll go ahead and check it so we can take advantage of it. Down here in the left-hand corner, it adds this little Layout Tables tool. So from here, there's a couple different layouts we can choose from. So we just go ahead and select the, one of the ones that we like. So we'll go with this, and it throws this Layout Table into your web page. So if you look at the code, we'll go ahead and go straight to the code view. You can see how it just inserts this layout table right in here. All the different types of table settings in here, the formatting, the spacing. Um, it's automatically done for you. It's just thrown right in there. Um, so let's go ahead and add some uh, interactive buttons to this uh, page. So to add an interactive button, we can go to insert and then right down here we have interactive button we'll click on that and then from here there's all kinds of different interactive buttons we can select from most of these use JavaScript code that automatically gets added to your page as you add it to your uh, as you click on it and add it to your page um, so let's go ahead and we'll go, we'll go with this one get a little preview of what that button looks like before we add, add it um, right here you can type in button text and then you can add a link to it somewhere so we'll go to our default page go ahead click OK and then you can see it added that button um, let's go ahead and do a split view on this so you can see what some of the code looks like click on that button and then you can see right here is the code scroll over here and then you see it adds some of the JavaScript stuff like on mouse over it tells you what it's going to do almost on mouse out so we have our first interactive button in there and if we want to add another one we can just go right below it click insert go back to interactive button and by default it's going to stick on the last one that you just used so we'll go here and then we'll select something else and again, we'll just link that button to some location. And there we go. Click OK. Click OK. So now we have two interactive buttons. Um, one of the things that you can do to get an idea of what your page will look like, also as you're editing it, is uh, we'll go ahead and save this. We'll just go with test one for right now as the name of the page. as you're saving it's going to save all the images along with it to your web but if you want to preview what the page is going to look like when you actually uh, publish it or before you even publish it you can go to file and preview in browser because each browser kind of renders HTML differently you can get an idea of what your page will look like in other browsers so we'll go with Mozilla Firefox right here click on it and that's what our pretty simple page is going to look like. If we hover over top of it, you can see the interactive buttons working. Um, and you can click on them and they'll start working. So, and that's pretty much that. Alright.